evening to everyone. Uh, welcome to the lecture series day seven on the role of cement and the supplementary cement tissues materials in production of uh, environment friendly concrete, which is a way forward towards sustainability, which is organized by Department of Civil Engineering, Sri Chikanya College of Engineering, Karimnagar, Telangana. So, uh, as a part of day seven, uh, uh, we have both the speakers who are here. So let me introduce uh, speaker one. Speaker number one, uh, her name is uh, Ms. Sayed Habibunisa. So Hayat Habibunisa ma'am has completed her B.Tech in Civil Engineering from CEC College of Engineering, which is affiliated to JNTUK, JNT Kakinara. And she completed her Master's in Structural Engineering from Vidyan Foundation for Science of Technology Research. And she is currently pursuing her PhD in Department of Civil Engineering from Vigyan University. She has a work experience of two years and worked as assistant professor in the Department of Civil Engineering at St. Mary's Group Institutions, Guntur. One year worked as assistant professor in the Department of Civil Engineering, Vigyan Slara Institute of Technology and Sciences, Guntur. She undertook two UG projects. And her area of interest is in material sciences, composite materials, microstructure characterization, and fiber reinforcing composites, innovative natural fiber materials. She participated in four national and international conferences and published five research papers in Scopus Index Journal. So it is my immense pleasure to have Habib Inisa Madam over here. And uh, good evening, ma'am. So this is Syed Habib Nisa. Uh, welcome to all the participants on seventh day of lecture series on role of cement and supplementary cementitious material in production of environmental friendly concrete way forward towards sustainability. So today I will discuss about the fibers in concrete. Uh, it is also called as a FRC. So coming to the contents of uh, my presentation, it consists of history, introduction, and why we are using fibers and uh, <clears throat> what are the types of fibers and what are the mechanical properties of fiber reinforced concrete and what is the structural behavior of fiber reinforced concrete and what are the factors affecting the FRC and what are the advantages and disadvantages of fiber reinforced concrete and applications where we are used in this fiber reinforced concrete and natural fibers which are used in my research and what are the microstructure properties. Coming to the history. Uh, there has been, uh, goes back to the previous years, uh, uh, we try is first fiber which is used in a uh, area where uh, we can, they bake the, in the presence of sunlight, they bake the bricks. So straw is the first uh, fiber used in 3005 years back. And next to horse hair, nothing but animal fiber is used in motor and straw in mud bigs. And later, asbestos fiber was introduced in 1900. And later, the composite material came into the picture in the year of 1950. And later, from past 30 to 40 years, we are using synthetic fibers like steel and glass fiber. Still now, research is going on new fiber reinforced concrete even today. So uh, next slide. Sorry, I'm going. So coming to the introduction, generally concrete contains cement, water, aggregate, and uh, along with uh, discontinuous and informally dispersed or discussed fibers, it is nothing but fiber reinforced concrete. Generally, we can add the fibers in a single type or blend of fibers to the conventional mix. Then it is called as a FRC. So fibers can be in the form of natural or synthetic. If you see the figure one, if you observe the stress strain graph for the plain concrete and if you add the fibers, the strength will be increases. And if you add the high fibers with the particular to volume, then strength also increases. In second diagram, you can see that without the fiber, without fiber, what is the structural element uh, having? And with fiber, with the addition of fibers, we can bridge the cracks. Coming to the another one, why fibers are used? Fibers are mainly used to bridge the crack and to develop the ductility of concrete elements. And it can also improve the post-cracking behavior of concrete elements. And uh, uh, we, it can reduce the plastic shrinkage and drying shrinkage. And also, we can reduce the permeability of concrete and uh, bleeding of water by, uh, by using fibers. And also, it will resist the impact load. Nothing but it resists the sudden loads, and it can absorb the energy. 
coming to the types of fibers so here i give you some uh, uh, diagrams of uh, fibers in this uh, if you see the steel fiber glass fiber carbon nylon polypropylene these are already synthetic fibers coming to the cellulose fibers hay coir these are the natural fibers just i want to show the pictures of the fiber that's why i keep it coming to the difference between the natural fibers and synthetic fibers so uh, natural fibers will be obtained in a low cost and the energy will be uh less when compared with the manufacture of synthetic fibers and if you see the natural fibers in daily life like uh, coir jute bamboo and they will be having biodegradable nature and it having the low modulus of elasticity and uh, we these fibers can be obtained from the plants like stem leaves fruits and synthetic fibers are nothing but these are manufactured from the industries like textiles or petrochemical industries and these are abundantly available because it these are manufacturing and these are having the high melting point nothing but high temperature resistant and these are also having the low modulus of elasticity properties and uh, we have seen the synthetic fibers are used for uh, casting the panels and short crete uh, while grouting techniques and most of the synthetic fibers used in recent days are polypropylene polyethylene uh, and steel fibers glass fibers coming to the comparison between steel and glass fibers just i want to go to the uh, three types of fibers polypropylene steel and glass so generally i want to discuss what are the parameters we have to see when we purchase the any fiber from the industries or market for our research so first we have to go through the aspect ratio aspect ratio of uh, steel fibers is 30 to 250 and it has the high structural strength and it can reduce the cracks and improve the durability and it can be used for the pavement constructions and industrial floorings and bridge decks glass fibers these are having the high tensile strength uh, nearly 1020 to 4080 newton per mm square generally the length of fibers are used 25 mm and they uh, that uh, nothing but they improve in impact strength and flexural strength also increases and these glass fibers are used in a swimming pools and roofs and sewer lining etc coming to the mechanical properties fiber reinforced concrete generally we have to seen that when your fiber is a small reinforcing material which can be used for the structural integrity purpose nothing but it has the strength so what is the compressive strength and what is the modulus of elasticity and what is the flexural strength it may be increases or not so if you see that the modulus of elasticity is increases with the respect to volume if you adding the fiber percentage one percent increase increment then there is an increment in three percent in the modulus of elasticity depending upon the type of fiber just i am saying that the strength properties increases depending upon the fiber type and properties of fiber so here the flex drive properties also increases with the addition of four percentage of fiber that means if you add uh, any synthetic fiber it give good results and coming to the impact resistance it gives a high uh, generally 5 to 10 times uh, that of uh, resistant when compared with the plain concrete coming to the uh, structural behavior of frc what do you mean by structural behavior means for uh, if you consider any columns any beams or any slabs so uh, what is the behavior of the uh, fibers in that uh, concrete so generally in flexor uh, in flexor mode in flexural members it increase the ductility and uh, tensile strength and it will uh, preserve the post cracking behavior and in torsion if you see that uh, the rotation capacity nothing but if a fibers having the good ductility nature and strength it will uh, number of cracks will be less and uh, high strength concrete uh, fibers are generally increase the ductility of high strength concrete generally polypropylene fibers are used for the high strength concrete and it will control the cracks and uh, deflections shear capacity is also increases up to a uh, certain percentage if you are randomly distributed fibers that means the fibers are only randomly distributed then the shear strength is increases coming to the column for column if you add the any construction purpose uh, then the fibers helps the reducing the explosive type of failure that means it gives the uh, nothing but it gives a warning that uh, the structure is about to fail and next cracking and deflection if you see that we can control the cracks and deflections and we can see the enhancement of strength in concrete beams with the increase of fiber addition coming to the factors affecting the properties of fiber reinforced concrete so if you see that what are the factors affecting 
first one is volume of fibers if you adding fiber with less than 1 percentage so then uh, the one percentage of fibers will be used in the slabs pavements which are having the surfaces leading to the high shrinkage and cracking nature and moderate volume fraction means 1 to 2 percentage that means we can use the 1 to 2 percentage of uh, fibers in the construction methods like short crete and uh, to remove the delamination spalling and fatigue dues and a high volume fraction is nothing but 2 percentage which can make the high performance concrete aspect ratio what do you mean by aspect ratio it is nothing but length to the diameter of the fiber so if you having the length of the particular fiber and diameter we can calculate the aspect ratio then it will 75 percentage means the relative strength and toughness are the properties which depending upon the aspect ratio here i will show the table type of concrete if you see that plain concrete with randomly distributed fibers the aspect ratio is dependent parameter if you see that up to 75 percentage relative strength and relative toughness are increased later uh, beyond aspect ratio the relative strength is slightly decreases with the increase in the l by d ratio another one is orientation of fiber orientation is nothing but fibers are aligned to the direction of load or direction of perpendicular to the load or randomly distributed i will show the image so see this image if the fibers are aligned parallel to the direction of load perpendicular to the direction of load and randomly distributed so uh, among these three types if uh, fibers are uh, aligned in a parallel direction uh, for the load it will give the good results so whenever uh, we are going with the orientation so this parallel orientation of fibers gives the good results coming to the relative fiber matrix it only depending upon the modulus of velocity of fiber that means how much load it will carry and what is the energy absorption if you see that fibers are divided into low modulus example nylons polypropylenes and high modulus of fibers nothing but if you see steel glass and carbon fibers coming to the application of fiber reinforced concrete already uh, these fiber reinforced concrete are used in the pavement and uh, slabs because it will resist the even serve and mild environments and uh, tunneling uh, steel fibers mainly used for the underground tunneling and it will eliminate the need for the mesh reinforcement and scaffolding dams and hydraulic structures generally this frc is used for the construction and repair of dams and uh, it will resist the cracks and uh, another if you see in general uh, our areas we can see that uh, wall pipes and manholes these are also con uh, constructed with the help of frc and uh, if you see the domes or any arches which are uh, having hemispherical shape we can use the fibers in that another application is nothing but pre cast concrete and products if you see that arch uh, we as uh, nowadays we are using the panels in commercial way industrial ways and we are having the lightweight uh, materials by using the fibers in residential application we can use as a basements and fire drainage agriculture purpose also we can use the storage structures and paving etc so these are the comparison between the fiber reinforced and normal reinforced concrete these are having high durability and low durability and uh, expen uh, expensive more expensive and economical and what are the applications in india and abroad uh, if you see one example in our india at madura up uttar pradesh 400 tons of steel fiber is used in the construction of road so if you uh, have time you can uh, google it uh, after some time so at madura up they are used steel fibers for the construction of road and uh, steel fibers are used for the manhole covers and frames uh these are widely used in india and abroad also they are used in coming to the my research uh, i am working on natural fibers so first of all in recent years there has been going interest utilizing of natural fibers such as wood and cellulose because these are having environmentally sustainable materials and these are, can produce the eco friendly construction materials and uh, these are gained economic importance because uh, now uh, natural fibers are cultivated, uh, cultivated on a large scale globally so if you see the classification of natural and synthetic fiber the fibers are divided into natural and synthetic again these natural fibers are divided into two, animal mineral cellulose or lignocellulose again these cellulose and lignocellulose fibers are divided into so many types depending upon the source of extraction so if you see the hemp plant generally i give a example so 
main the extraction process of fiber is also plays a, a good role so if your fibers are uh, extracted from this stem it will give one properties and if you extract the fibers from leaves or if you extract the fibers from seeds or fruits that means the extraction of fiber is also a one of the important technique coming to the uh, another one is role of coconut coir fiber in concrete so here uh, i want to discuss uh, one of my paper here the strength and mechanical property of natural fibers are mainly depending upon the chemical composition so here what is the chemical composition nothing but any natural fiber consists of cellulose nucleocellulose hemicellulose pectin and wax materials we have to make sure that these minerals are present in that uh fiber or not and uh, coconut fiber uh, contains these materials and it uh, having the high tensile strength compared to other uh, natural fibers uh, 21.51 mpa and it having the relatively high strength so we can replace these uh coir fibers as an alternative to asbestos fibers in roof sheets because asbestos causing uh, causing uh, so many health problems so that's why we are to replace the natural fibers so it does not giving any impact to the environment coming to the processing technique before going to add any fiber into the concrete like natural fibers so if you have to make sure that the fiber properties are uh, having in a smooth manner or not why because that we have to make sure that the fiber and uh, cement paste or cement mortar or cement concrete aggregate this will giving a good bonding with the fiber or not because it will affect the uh strength properties so first uh, in my research i washed the coir fiber later i loosen the fibers as a individual strand manner and i remove that dust and i will soak it for 30 minutes because uh, the water absorption characteristics also a one effect parameter for strength properties so that's why i washed the fibers next i have to straighten them with the steel comb and we have to make sure that the surface of the fiber will be a smooth because it will having the good bond with the cement paste cement mortar or concrete next uh, to accelerate the drying process so after uh, i put into a oven for particular temperature to remove the moisture so next again i will dry into the open air and uh, finally i will comb again and i will cut into a particular required shape for my work and uh, next it is the one of the important parameter is that for certain natural fibers we have to soak into oil 15 to 20 minutes and dried in 24 hours to eliminate the presence of moisture in that so next the fiber content increment in uh, uh, frc gives the good results and uh, split tensile strength also uh, increases up to 5 percentage next there is a decrement in the tensile stress is observed why because this adding of fiber gives uh, good results particular percentage only later it will decreases coming to the characterization of natural fiber so one of the important uh, parameter of uh, natural fiber is make sure that you, whether if you are choosing one fiber any fiber in natural fiber to mix in a uh, in a cement paste or concrete or any one first you have to make sure that what are the properties of natural fiber so you have to make sure that first identify physical chemical mechanical so these are the preliminary study so i am going with the chemical properties already previous speakers discussed about the xrd technique so for natural fibers how this xrd useful so to identify the cellulose composition and uh, what are the mineral compositions present in the natural fibers xrd is a technique and in ftir we can identify the peak side, uh, peaks peaks uh, whether the cellulose is present and how much percentage is presence so these are all identified by these techniques so if you see that here jute hemp neem palm these are all fibers having the cellulose lignin pectin and wax and hemicellulose materials coming to the next topic is uh, next uh, slide is thermal properties so thermal analysis is nothing but so here we why we carried out the thermal analysis because almost all natural fibers are uh, having low thermal stability nothing but we have to identify that uh, the fibers re would resist the temperature or not we use the differential scanning calorimetry technique and uh, thermal gravity analysis so by this these techniques we can measure the amount of heat required 
to increase the temperature of the sample and we can measure the how much temperature is required for the sample to withstand and what are the chemical composition present in the uh, fibers so at a particular degradation occurs so with respect to time we can measure the mass loss also so first cellulose degrade next hemicellulose degrade next wax and all these materials degrade and what is the mass loss and last one uh, in last degradation stage the fiber material will come be having charcoal nature nothing but ash so we can measure the what is the mass loss by using this technique coming to the natural fibers used for work is uh, here i choose one of natural fiber so i process that fiber and again i embedded with the uh, preparation of uh, composites so if you see the image we can observe the fiber strands are mixed up, uh, bad, uh, nothing but bundle type so make sure that proper mixing also is uh, one of the good uh, good property to increase the strength we have to make sure that the fibers are Uh, individually that means we can see the each strand of the fiber in composites not like a bunch manner if you see the same image here the fibers are mixed properly or not we can check in same image and it uh, will crack the uh, surfaces or not so with this slide i will conclude so coming to the urbanization and industrial development we need sustainable construction materials which are having the biodegradable nature and uh, we can go with the renewable resources generally we can replace the glass fiber with natural fiber because glass fiber is causing so much of health problems uh, it will affect the lungs it will leads to cancer so india is a being developing country and uh, it is enriched in agriculture products and we can make sure that uh, by using natural fibers we can provide a new materials which can having the eco friendly building environment and we here we can observe that the fiber extraction is also easy from plants and uh, less energy is required almost all developing countries are rich in agriculture plants and we can make the composites by using natural fibers like biomaterials biocomposites not only natural fibers if you see the textile waste materials are there and biomedical wastes are there so in covid situation if you see that uh, in recent news uh, mask disposal is a very plastic disposals and uh, we are uh, facing some issues so you can choose the waste materials and you can make the environmental friendly material and which will be useful for the good consumer production so nothing but we can reduce the and reuse and recycle them so if you have any queries you can ask me and sorry for the inconvenience from my side yes yes ma'am thank you madam not an issue madam and thanks to hemant sir and happy bunisha madam for having such an uh, informative sh uh, session uh, on day 7 yes if any queries oh. are there you can ask please. madam one question is there uh, what is the meaning of hemicellulose hemicellulose is nothing but uh, if you, uh, it is uh, presence in the plant like uh, Uh, see if you see the formula like bit it is one of the chemical composition natural okay. fibers almost having this certain uh, cellulose hemicellulose and uh, pectin lignin wax materials these are the uh, minerals nothing but present in the fibers yes ma'am and uh, yes we shall i i made a text what is meant by spelling Yes, madam. One, ah. one. Ah, okay, sir. Yes, yes ma'am. That's it, madam. No, yeah, Abhi. Uh, once sir. again, sir. Ah, okay, sir. Once again, uh, like there are some questions, ma. What is ah, meant okay, by spelling? In your words, you can explain to them. Spelling is nothing but uh, if a uh, uh, suppose if you see the nothing but in Telugu they are called as a uh, suppose. if you have any slabs or uh, any beams uh, certain portion of cracks occurred na then that portion is uh, having the nature like uh, telugu la ela cheptar pechlu antaru ga sir nothing but like that yes ma and the one is what is what are bio composites bio composites are nothing but uh, uh, by using the uh, bio materials like nothing but natural fibers uh, by these fibers uh, Ha embedded in the resin uh, epoxy material like uh, uh, 
uh, HY N95 and ninety-five uh, hardeners, we can mix that fibers in that uh, epoxy and we can make the composites, biocomposites. These are used for the aircraft and uh, uh, some industries uh, for packings and uh, uh, sealing purpose. Yes. So can we use these uh, bamboo fibers? in concrete or in any other construction the question is uh, can bamboo uh, you can be used as uh, fibers yes yes sir already some research are going in that bamboo fiber is used uh, not only fiber sir bamboos are used to replace this reinforcement also still research is going on that sir yes we can use the bamboo fibers and also steel also replaced by the bamboo uh, like uh, Pipes type they are used for the uh, replacement of steel also sir. Steel research is going on that sir. Okay sir, if you have any doubts sir. Yeah no, uh, like the questions are answered, uh, and we okay, are very thankful to Hemant as well as Habibuni sir for giving uh, a nice lectures uh, for the sake of uh, this lecture series. Uh, from the Department uh, of Civil Engineering, Sri Chaitanya College of Engineering, we thank uh, both the speakers uh, for spending their valuable time uh, to deliver these lectures. Thank you. Uh, thank you, sir. I would like to thank uh, um, Mr. Abhinav, sir, and uh, my guide, Dr. Sriyam, sir, for giving this opportunity, and uh, Sri Chaitanya College and participants, especially uh, for patience delivering my presentation. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you for such an informative, informative lecture. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, yes.